where is it? Where? Oh. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Right, can everyone see me okay? Um, wow, that, whoa. Right, guys, welcome back. So I am making a video because it's the new year and I feel like making a video. I know in the last video that I made ages ago, I said I was gonna start making more videos and I was gonna do them as and when. Um, in that time, I have made a couple of videos. Um, I just didn't really like them, so I just didn't finish editing them and I just couldn't be bothered with it. So yeah, but anyway, that doesn't matter because we're going on to what I'm doing today. And basically I've got a drift day coming up in like three weeks, I think it is, pod day. Um, so I'm just getting a few bits done for the car um, so that it should hopefully work. I haven't driven it in ages. The car's actually off the road now and I'm gonna be trailering it there. But there's a few things that I wanna sort on it first. So I've got a new, some new side skirts coming. Um, they're not here yet because um, the ones I made myself, one of them fought, fell off on the M1 um, and all my stuff for making the size gets back down south four hours away so I can't do that because I don't live there anymore so I've just ordered some new ones so I'm going to fit in those but another thing that I've been that I've had these for quite a while and I just haven't got around to fitting them is um, I say I haven't fitted them I fitted one of them last week it's these uh, these are drive shaft spacers um, these ones are from six is it six shop UK I think I've got that right <clears throat> Yeah, Six Shop UK. Um, got them on, got them ages ago. I can't remember how much they are or where they got them from. I don't think I got them on eBay. I think they actually have a website. Well, I'm saying that there's a sticker here. Um, obviously, you got them around the other way. Shop Six. Uh, no, I've got that wrong again. SixShopUK.com. Yeah, so I've got those. These are really nice as well. They're a nice looking quality. And they also come with brand new bolts. These are Allen head ones. So they make it a bit easy to change. So the problem is when you have these uh, factory torque ones it can be a bit of annoying to get um, the socket on them um, just because of like the way the CV boot and stuff's in the way so these ones are nice allen head ones and then they also come with these like grip washers so they're like serrated um, you can see that there and they've got like they obviously got a bit of a spring to them because they're um they're like concaved or convex depending on which way you look at it um so yeah let's fit those like i say i've already fitted some today uh, not today last week uh, and i'm doing the rest now let's jack the car up and have a look of a car then. So, what have we got going on? So, let's see. Yeah, I've done it. So, uh, I've got the dual caliper set up on this. That don't look too great. That might want to do it up a bit more. Uh, but I'm going to have to undo this anyway and take this, uh, the handbrake caliper off because, stupidly, when I'd done it, I didn't think about how this bolt now needed to come out. So, I've got to take it off and spin it around and go through that way because you can still actually access um, and pull the bolt out with this caliper here. But obviously, they weren't designed to have this caliper here on the front. So that's in the way so this is gonna to have to come off um and then yeah so that is that right there is a loose bolt for a start uh i think I, yeah by the looks of it there's a couple, <laughs> couple loose ones in there so um i think i'm gonna re-tap the threads um clean it all out and hopefully they will stay in there better and not fall out especially with those like <clears throat> serrated washers let's have a look uh, sorry, I keep looking at the screen because I'm looking at myself, but when really I should be looking at the camera. So I need to... So let's have a look at the one that I've already installed so you can see it. As you can see, this is the new one in there with the extra bolts and stuff like that in it. So the reason why I'm putting these in, you're probably wondering, or you might be watching this video already knowing about these. Um, basically, when you run cars quite low, like I do with, you know... Uh, shitty cut springs and stuff like that and you know camber and extended track width and stuff like that that you start to put it stress on the drive shaft and on the cvs because these are moving parts you know this does slide in and out obviously you don't come straight out but it does move about in there and um, it starts to put wear on these and this is what causes them to snap so obviously if we put a spacer in here and bring this point out of the whole thing 
it's not going to wear as much when like the tires droop and stuff so um most of the time when i've had drive shaft snap it's actually been not when i've just like spun the wheels up but if i've hit a bump so i could be mid drift hit a bump the car goes up the wheels stay where they are the drive shaft pulls out um, and it causes it to snap most of the time i have them not snap in the middle but actually up at the cv end um so hopefully this will stop it from doing that uh, especially as santa pod's quite bumpy um and stuff like that yeah i think that's about it for that let's get on to actually changing the stuff over so so, 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 so. so the first thing i'm gonna do is take this caliber off drop this down so what i'm gonna do is the exhaust is gonna come down for this side uh i'm gonna disconnect the drive shaft obviously at that end um, and I disconnect up here as well and obviously disconnect the dampener. Right, so that is this caliper removed. This is the Born to Drift dual caliper bracket. I don't think you can quite see it. Um, but yeah, I was going to do a video on that, but I couldn't be bothered. And I've done this ages ago anyway. Um, but yeah, so it's basically you can run your normal caliper uh, and then also an extra caliper for a hydro. So it's a bit better than uh like teeing on into this i've always found it's a bit spongy and this has just been way more like there not that i use it a lot but when i have needed to it's there and it's um a lot more sharper so this brake is now off i've also dropped the exhaust down what i'm going to do now in the next one because i can get to it a bit easier i'm going to disconnect the drive shaft before i drop all of this down just so there's less stress on that when i'm undoing the bolts and that's just an e12 eh. that's just an e12 so let's put that bad boy under there like that. Oh, great view. Look at all that CV grease everywhere. As you can see, <laughs> some of them are already undone, so I ain't really got to worry about that. I think I'm going to clean all this CV grease out though. Look, it's caked in it. Uh, wang that on the exhaust. Um, yeah. Get this E12 on there. I'll tell you what. Right, so obviously you can see that was quite annoying. It was spinning there. So what you can do to make it a little bit easier is you just put an Allen key in the disc there as long as you've got vented ones like that and that's going to stop that from moving and it's you can pull that out and put it back in when you need to get to the next bolt which sometimes before i had vented brakes i used to just have to keep getting out from underneath the car and putting it in gear um which is pain in the ass so i'm going to undo those now okay so there's all the drive shaft bolts out and just thrown on the floor uh so that's all out next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to disconnect the anti-roll bar i'm only going to do it from that bit there the drop link and then obviously this bush here um, just to, so you can pull it down, um, otherwise the drive shaft ends up getting stuck on it uh, and it's kind of pointless undoing all of this stuff. But before we're going to do that, I'm actually just going to spray a load of this uh, Big Wipes Power Spray on there, um, where all that CV-like stuff is. We can get it, oh yeah, in there just so it can sit and soak for a little bit because it is proper, especially like there. I'm spraying there's like a big old gunked up bit this is from where I've dry, snapped so many drive shafts and it's just built up so let that all sit on there right you can see so I've undone that bad boy up there as well uh, undone this and you can see I've already got so much more room already but the problem is that's still a little bit in the way um, it's alright if you're just changing a shaft but to get in and put this spacer in as well we're gonna undo this. I mean, I need to swap these bolts around anyway. Right, me chavies. Um, it's about time to put these on. Um, what I've done is I've also cleaned these spreader plates up. I'm, I'm not sure if you need to have them on there or not um, with these new ones on. I think you do, because I think what they do is they even out like the pressure of the bolts so that it's not all, I, it maybe helps stop them from coming loose or anything like that. So either way, they're going on anyway. Um, I've cleaned them all up. But before I put any of those on, I'm actually going to give a little light spray of copper grease um, on the mating surfaces either side. Um, just because I always think it's good just to put a bit of this just on any time two bits of metal are mating, mating together. So I reckon we'll give ooh, just a little light one. Let's move that up out of the way. This is going on here, and that's gonna go up like that. Just let that rest there, right? And then, so we're gonna whack, get a bolt in. I'm gonna put this washer uh, convex side up to the bottom of the head of the bolt, so like that, and then obviously um, through here. I wish I filmed the other side, it was a lot easier to do than this side with the exhaust in that way. Whips the threads. 
Oh, good. Not even the right size. Oh, yeah, that's going in something. Let's not let that move too much. I'm basically just using my knee to hold the bottom of the disc up right now. So that is a little bit uncomfortable. Just put a second one in. Right, that feels like it's just got a thread. Okay, so there's them in. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put the rest in without the camera being in the way because um, it's quite a fiddly job and we'll, uh, we'll come back to it. So what I have done is I've actually bolt, bolted the dampener. Well, I've bolted the rear trailing arm to the dampener, really. It's around that way, I should say. Um, just so that it's taken the pressure off and it it's means the um, stuff's in a straight line and what I can do is I can actually move this disc around and I can get to uh, the bolts a bit easier. I'm not having to put a lot of stress on me. Um, I would like to point out some of you might have been thinking it when you were watching just a minute ago that I haven't put any thread lock on them or like Loctite. I don't know if you should do or not. You probably should. I haven't because I haven't got any um, and I can't bother to go over the road and get some. Get some! So I'm just putting them in uh, raw. Oh, I say put them in that bolt ain't even gone in. Gone in now though. Oh, baby. Look at that like little steering wheel. What? <laughs> Yeah. Once I've got all of the bolts in, I'm just going to do what I was doing with doing them up and just spin around, putting the Allen key in there um, and tighten them all up. There's probably a torque spec you should do them to. Um, I'm not going to do them to that because I can't be bothered to look and find out what it is. So I'm just going to do them up uh, mad tight. Is it raining? Oh, no. Right, I'm going to get on with this. So uh, I'll see you in a bit. Right guys, so that's it. You can see they're in. Yeah, that's the um, that's the spacers in. Uh, I can't really tell you whether they work or not until that pod day and see if I snap any drive shafts. But you know, it's not guaranteed that I was going to break them anyway. But hopefully, this should help. Um, I might I'm going to probably take a drive shaft with me anyway, um, just in case. I hope the video wasn't too bad. Um, when I edit this I might decide to delete it but no I'm not going to delete it I'm just going to upload it anyway because um, I kind of want to start doing this again and get back into the swing of things so uh, yeah um, see you later